Hey guys, this is Joelle from From Scratch Farmstead and today we'll be making a homemade Dolce de Leche. Prior to our homemade from scratch sort of life of um, trying to do all local nourishing ingredients, the only way I ever fathomed buying caramel was out of a jar. Um, with all sorts of ingredients, probably corn syrup at the top. Um, but when we started switching this way, and especially when we started buying raw milk from other local farms and then having our own cow, I realized that actually it was really, really simple to make um, homemade dolce de leche with milk and sugar. And that's pretty much it. Um, so this is a great way to use up leftover milk that you might have. It's super easy. Typical, a lot of recipes you see out there for Dolce de Leche involve using canned sweetened condensed milk, but I like this one much better because you are in control of what you are putting in it. So I like to do our whole raw milk. Um, it is, I would not say this is a healthy recipe. It definitely includes a good amount of sugar, so this is definitely a treat that we have occasionally, but we buy a organic cane sugar for this recipe. This is from Costco. Um, and then, oops, a little bit of salt and baking soda. Those are all the ingredients you need. So the biggest thing with this recipe is time. It takes time. Um, it's simple, it's easy, it requires very little hands-on time, but it does require somewhat regular checking in, stirring, and you'll need a good couple of hours to let the pot sit and boil down to your caramel sauce. So it's going to start off with, I use a half a cup of milk, or I'm sorry, a half a gallon of milk, but feel free to cut my recipe in half. If you only want to do it with a quart, you won't get as much caramel, but it will also be maybe faster. But I just, if I'm going through the time to make caramel sauce, I get my most bang for my buck and I make a half gallon at a time. Um, so... So I would say on average, maybe this takes me two to three hours. So we're gonna pour our milk into our pan. Um, and one important note here is that you wanna make sure you use a pan or a pot that is plenty big because um, you're gonna put the milk and sugar in and let that come to a boil and then you're gonna add baking soda. And when you add the baking soda, it will froth up like a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you use a pretty small pan, you are gonna have a bubbling over milk mess on your hands. So use a pot that is much, significantly larger than the amount of milk you have in your pot. All right, so we poured our half gallon in. And so for every half gallon, it's two cups of sugar, or I try to do a little bit less maybe, but two cups of sugar. So if you're gonna half it, then you're talking one quart of milk and one cup of sugar. All right, so pour in that. And that. All right, so we have half gallon of milk, two cups of sugar, and we're gonna stir that up. I also, so there are a couple ingredients that you could add if you'd like, and I've tried adding them before, um, but usually I just stick with this. So I think salt is really, really, really nice in there, a nice salted caramel. I don't measure this, maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. You could have vanilla if you'd like, you could add cinnamon if you'd like, those would all kind of be different variations, but Super simple, that's what you're starting with. So you're gonna put that on your stock, on your, um, this is our boiling plate, or you're gonna set it to a medium to high heat because you want this mixture to get to a boil. And then once this mixture is boiling, you're gonna add in your um, baking soda. So how you do that is you're gonna mix a half a teaspoon of baking soda with water and let it dissolve. And once your stock pot here with the milk and sugar 
comes to a light boil, you'll add this to the pan. You'll see everything froth up. Um, you can lower your heat down to uh, medium low. So my, in my experience of making this many, many times, I've done it on a lower heat and it just takes a lot, lot, lot longer. So you run the risk if you put it on a higher heat of burning your caramel, if you let it go without stirring it and that happening, but it also makes it be a much more manageable amount of time because I've had it go several hours when it's on a lower heat. So it's kind of up to you of playing with it. So we recommend after it gets to boiling, turning it to a medium heat, checking it every 10 minutes, stirring it, making sure nothing is burning at the bottom, sticking to the pan, anything like that. Um, and then once you get to the end of the process, you'll want to start checking your caramel more regularly till it gets to the consistency um, and color that you want it. But there could be some variability there depending on how thick you want it. Um, but yeah, so hot, medium to high heat till it gets to a boil, bump your heat down and just let it sit until it's done. And that's it. Okay, so our milk and sugar concoction here has reached a very light, starting to be a rolling boil. And so we're going to take it off the heat here just for a second. Okay, so we're going to add this baking soda water combination. This was a half a teaspoon of baking soda with a couple of teaspoons of water. And you're going to stir that in. Put it back on your heat so you'll want to bump it down to like a medium heat now play around with it so it keeps cooking at a nice clip but isn't too bad so this is where it starts to froth up a bit and can really expand so you want to make sure you have a big enough pan size but we have a huge pan here so this isn't a problem um, but that's it and you're just gonna let that cook down until you get a beautiful brown caramel Dolce de Leche. I try to pop in and check on it every 10 minutes or so and just give it a stir, make sure everything's looking okay until you get to the end part and then you'll want to start checking on it more frequently just when it's starting to get close. But you have, I would say, give it, let it go for at least an hour checking it every 10 minutes or so and then after that point if it's starting to look like it's coming along then you can check on it more frequently. All right, and we are back. So we have finished our Dolce de Leche sauce. Um, so you could see through the progression of the caramel as it as it darkened in color and it, um, the, it reduced in volume as it cooked. Um, and so we ended up with about three cups here from the half gallon of milk that we started with. And it's a pretty nice, thick, creamy uh, consistency. You could take it off sooner if you want more of a pourable liquid for ice cream or something like that. This is a pretty thick sauce. You could tell here it's pretty thick, so you could use this to dip caramel apples or something like that. And if you want it a little thinner, just heat it up a little and it is perfect on Sundays or for any of your toppings for whatever you need. Um, so this is our really simple, homemade, from scratch, Dolce de Leche sauce. Thanks for stopping by the farmstead today and we'll see you next time. Okay.